So Tara is, is available, but it's, as you say, it's going through nice. It's a slightly unusual uh, path that it's gone down through through this the Orbis approval, um, which uh, aligns our approvals um, process with America, Canada, and Switzerland. So it is actually available at the, uh, to patients on the NHS at the moment, although it's going through a full health economic evaluation by Nice. And I think that that definitely. Um, is probably the one that people are most interested in just because of the number of patients um, that it will impact on. Um, and there's a number of other agents coming through in that space. And I think probably after that, uh, the MET inhibitors, you know, tapotinib and, and capmatinib, again, because it's a big patient population, um, well, bigger, it's about 3% of, of the patients. But this is a very different patient group than a lot of the, some of the other ones we were talking about earlier. The, so the EGFR, the ALK, the RET, uh, the ROS1 often tend to be... Um, you see them far more commonly in the, uh, the never smokers, um, the younger population, while the Metex on 14 skip lesions do tend to be in older patients. Um, sometimes they're smoked and not always. So it's a different patient population where we may have a targeted treatment available for them. So, uh, so I think in terms of how interested I am, it's probably the KRAS G12C inhibitors, then the MET inhibitors, and lastly, the EGFRX on 20 insertions, as you say, Mubosertinib and Amivantinab going through NICE uh, this year. And that's just because it, purely on incidents, you know, um, in terms of trying to get more patients onto a targeted treatment.